There have been 25 DC Universe films from Warner Brothers Animation so far, from Superman Doomsday to Justice League Gods and Monsters. These movies are the height of superhero awesomeness. This is the DC All Access Top 10 DC Animated Moments. First up in the number 10 slot, Deadshot and his ragtag squad encounter the Joker in the depths of Arkham in Batman Assault on Arkham. Harley Quinn tries to defuse the situation, but it's Deadshot's badass stare down that makes our list. Go ahead. You're out of bullets. I am not! You are. You're gonna pull the trigger, and when nothing happens, I'm gonna punch you in the throat and bash your brains out. Three. Two. One. Hold on, stop counting for a second. I know there are bullets. See? <laughs> yes, indeed. Deadshot out crazy the Joker. Justice League New Frontier gives us our number nine. Captain Cold takes a casino hostage, threatening Iris. Big mistake, Captain Cold. The Flash rockets to Vegas to confront Cold, disposes of the cold bombs hidden around the city, and makes it back with plenty of time to still take out Snart. Ah. Ah. What did you do? I rewired it on the way down. Barry proves he'll let Cold threaten Iris when Vegas freezes over, and not even then. Don't ever mess with my Iris. Eighth on the list is a scene from Superman Doomsday. Lex Luthor clones Superman after the original Kal-El dies battling the monster. Lex keeps the clone soups in check with a special explosive safeguard implanted in his brain. The new Superman isn't having it, so he goes into a beauty salon and uses the mirror to conduct brain surgery on himself. It's official. The Man of Steel has nerves of steel. A safe Superman means a safe metropolis. Our number seven comes from Superman Batman Apocalypse. Clark and his cousin Kara have survived the crisis on Apocalypse and returned to the farm on Smallville, only to be ambushed by Darkseid. The fight that follows is brutal. With Superman out of action, Kara finds her inner Supergirl to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Fiend. One epic fist fight later, the Kryptonian cousins finally defeat Darkseid by sending him on a one-way boom tube trip to the ends of the universe. Number six on the list is another super brawl, this time between Superman and Manchester Black's Elite from Superman vs. the Elite. Manchester and his cronies battle Superman on the moon and appear to be winning until Supes takes the gloves off. The Man of Steel tears the team apart with lethal force. Clark corners Manchester back on Earth, where he burns his powers out of his head with his heat vision. Manchester begs for his life, stunned by Superman's brutality, but Clark reveals that it was all a ruse to prove just how wrong Black is. I won't kill, but you would. So I made sure I had backup. As for your people, they're fine. Nursing headaches I don't even want to think about. They're very much alive as they're stripped of their powers and prepped for transport to a supermax prison. You... you think that's it? It's not over, you bunsy twit! If you think I'll just go to jail and rot, you're living in a dream world! Good. Dreams save us. Dreams lift us up and transform us into something better. And on my soul, I swear that until my dream of a world where dignity honor and justice are the reality we all share. I'll never stop fighting, ever. In addition to super strength and super speed, Clark also has super acting abilities. Fifth place is Batman's return to the streets of Gotham in Dark Knight Returns Part One. Bruce comes out of retirement and pones a series of thugs. There are tons of classic moments in DKR parts one and two, but it's Batman returning to his former glory and terrifying criminals that stands out above the rest. You're under arrest, mister. You just crippled that man. He's young. He'll walk again. 
<laughs> the old cop's respect for Bats is just the icing on the cake. Nice to have you back, Bats. All-Star Superman is one of our favorite DC animated films, but it's Lex, not Superman, who gets our number four spot. Lex Luthor pounds on a weakened Superman, and Clark is no match for the newly superpowered maniac. Lex emerges from the subway victorious, but before he launches his reign of terror, he's distracted by the atoms in the air. Are you okay? Better than okay. I can see the entire electromagnetic spectrum. And those must be atoms. Little clouds of possibility. Einstein couldn't connect the gravitational force to the other three. But if he could have seen this, it's so obvious. Uncle Lex? The fundamental forces are yoked by consciousness. Everything's connected. Every one. And this is how he sees things all the time. Every day. Like it's all just us in here together. We're all we've got. With his super senses, he suddenly sees what Superman has known all along. Everything is connected in ways we couldn't even imagine. The distraction is enough for Superman to put the kibosh on Lex's powers through the magic of relativity. Take that, Einstein. Third on the list is the fight between Batman and Owlman at the heart of the multiverse in Justice League, Crisis on Two Earths. Batman follows Owlman to desolate Earth Prime in order to stop him from collapsing all of reality. Man is a cancer, and I've chosen to cut out the disease. You're talking about killing everyone who ever lived, whoever will live. I choose to make the only possible real choice. You're insane. Does it really matter? There are alternate versions of me that you would find quite charming. The duel between Batman and the twisted man he could have been is intense, with Bruce finally gaining the upper hand. He teleports the villain and his bomb to a dead world, leaving Owlman with the chance to save himself. To which he says... It doesn't matter. Epic. Our number two moment is from Justice League Gods and Monsters. Bruce Timm's latest masterpiece may be new, but it has one of the most shocking moments in DC animated history. Wonder Woman is sworn to marry Orion in order to forge peace between New Genesis and Apocalypse. Even though it's an arranged marriage, Becca and Orion fall in love. Everything is looking good when suddenly High Father and the New Gods attack! The wedding was just a ruse in order to slaughter Darkseid and his family. You said he could live. I said I would spare him for you, but not at the expense of the mission. Even if he had lived, what life could you have had with him? He was different. He was Darkseid's blood, one of countless bastards in a line of endless betrayal. Becca is horrified and rejects Highfather, instead choosing to become a champion of Earth. This unexpected, tragic backstory is why Wonder Woman is one of our new favorite characters in the DC Animated Universe. And finally, our number one DC Animated moment is... Jason Todd confronting Batman at the end of Batman Under the Red Hood. Jason pops off his crimson helmet, revealing that he's the infamous Red Hood. After luring Batman into an abandoned building, Jason bears his broken heart. Ignoring what he's done in the past, blindly, stupidly disregarding the entire graveyards he's filled, the thousands who have suffered, the friends he's crippled. You know, I thought, I thought I'd be the last person you'd ever let him hurt. If it had been you that he'd beat to a bloody pulp, if he had taken you from this world, I would have done nothing but search the planet for this pathetic pile of evil death-worshipping garbage and send him off to hell! You don't understand. I don't think you've ever understood. What? What, your moral code just won't allow for that? I'm not talking about killing Penguin or Scarecrow or Dent. I'm talking about him. Just him. And doing it because... Because he took me away from you. I can't. I'm sorry. 
It's a tense, emotional, unflinching confrontation between Batman and his greatest failure. It doesn't get any better than that. This is the best day of my life. All right, so basically I'm gonna have to lock myself in my apartment this weekend to rewatch all those movies. Well, luckily they're all part of the DC Universe 25 movie collection on iTunes, which is actually $300 cheaper than if you bought each of these movies individually. Oh, that's right. Okay, so you guys click subscribe. I'm gonna go find my Batman credit card so I can go buy all those movies. Bye.